The anime adaptation of the underrated manga of the same title written and illustrated by Makoto Yukimura, Vinland Saga has turned out to be one of the most popular and highly anticipated seinen series from Wit Studio. The anime was released in 2019 with a season consisting of 25 episodes, while the manga had already began in 2005. The basic story and setting being the historical existence of the Vikings is something that the Japanese anime and manga industry has really explored in depth, giving this series a remarkable and distinctive personality. The relatively realistic show tells us the story of the Vikings better than most of the live-action Viking storylines that we usually get to see these days. The animation of the first season looked enchanting as it managed to pull off the huge task of reimagining the settlements and the geographical location of the European seafaring warrior class. As the second season started streaming this week, we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview of the series so you could have a hassle-free viewing experience. A spoiler warning is in order for those who haven't been able to catch up with the series yet as we will be discussing important plot points and character details from the anime. But if you are all caught up with the series, kindly follow us through the video before you start to watch the new season of the anime. The story opens with Thor, a courageous retired warrior who gave up fighting in the past and now lives happily in the country of Iceland with his wife, daughter and son Thorfinn. One night he manages to save a runaway slave and when his owner Halfdan arrives, he buys the slave from him but cannot protect him in the end. This action inspires Thorfinn to become a great man like his father. Then when an old friend of Thor's named Floki with his Joms Viking army comes to Iceland, he encounters Thor's and urges him to join an invasion of England while also plotting his assassination with a gang of pirates led by a cunning man named Askela. Due to his aversion to using force, Thor initially declines the offer but in the end he accepts it and sets out with a navigator by the name of Liv Eriksson and a few young Icelandic lads. Thor had no idea that Floki was using this as a trap and that his own son Thorfinn was secretly following him on his boat. Thor, who was feared by everyone on the battlefield, displays his might when the assassination starts and he defeats Askeladd. However, the cunning Askeladd uses the fact that Thor has a son to protect and a coat to uphold as leverage to murder him in front of Thorfinn. Young Thorfinn is consumed by the guilt of the death of his father as well as his rage and loathing for Askeladd. He makes the decision that in order to exact revenge on Askeladd for his father's murder, he will train to be a fierce and powerful warrior. He leaves everything behind and joins Askeladd's gang of pirates where he embarks on his lonesome path of vengeance as a vengeful warrior. Askeladd is aware of Thorfinn's animosity towards him, so he decides to take advantage of it by promising to challenge Thorfinn to a duel once he has grown stronger and he helps him accomplish his goals. From the time Thorfinn was a young child until he reached his brutal adolescent fighting years, he kept his vow and stuck with the band of pirates. During this long time, they have brawled countless times and every time the vengeful cold teenage fighter lost to the sly pirate leader. A few years later, Askeladd's crew takes part in the Danish army's invasion of London. Askeladd's crew members aid in the siege of London and one of his menacing plans includes sending Thorfinn to defeat Thorkell, who with his monstrous strength guards the city. Thorfinn is defeated by Thorkel, who only enjoys blood and battle, and in the meantime King Swen I of Denmark, who had previously been in charge of the siege, is replaced by his spoiled younger son Prince Canute. Thorkel and his army defeat the Danish army as a result of the leadership's incoherent decision, and Prince Canute is taken captive. When Askeladd realizes the advantages of saving the prince, the situation is quickly turned around. Prince Canute and his keeper Ragnar are saved by Askeladd and his killed warriors. After he successfully saves the prince, he sees no sign of a leader in him, all he sees is a spoiled and helpless royal who is incapable of caring for himself on his own. So Askeladd resolves to get rid of his guardian Ragnar in order to awaken and mature the prince. Askeladd was able to get his troop to Wales in order to attack the army of Thorkel, which was more powerful in terms of numbers than his own, as this is his own country where he has allies and where they cannot be pursued. Then they travel by road to Giansboro, which is situated in the Danish controlled region. Sadly, winter comes earlier than anticipated, forcing the small troop to take a detour and enter the enemy's territory. They briefly stop in a village where they slaughter everyone during their stay. Askeladd has Ragnar killed during their stay in order to have Canute take command and blow. However, one villager who survived the massacre guides them to their demise and informs Thorkel's army of the location of this murdering troop. When Askeladd and his men hear that Thorkel is approaching, they start moving again right away. However, there are growing divisions within the troop and the majority of the warriors no longer see the leader's plan as advantageous. 
Thorkel and his army catch up with them and the reputedly strongest Viking must be defeated by Askeladd and Thorfinn. Both of them get their ass kicked at first and Thorkel reveals that he and Thorfinn are related as his mother is Thorkel's sister and he and Thorfinn's father fought alongside each other in the Yom Vikings. Thorfinn manages to partially blind Thorkel but the fight is abruptly ended when Prince Canute is awakened by the words of a priest who accompanied him. He realizes what he has been lacking all along and establishes a new objective to become the new Danish king. To start the takeover of the throne from his father, he arrives on the battlefield, presents a treaty to both sides, speaks with every Viking present and makes everyone vouch for him, including Thorkel and Askeladd. As the story progresses, we see Thorfinn, a bodyguard in Prince Canute's army, along with Thorkel in charge of the attacking squad and Askeladd, who serves as the prince's advisor, set off on a mission to aid their commander in achieving glory. Along the way, it was discovered that Askeladd is a Welshman and his only motivation for looking after and defending Prince Canute is to secure his nation. On the way, Askeladd and Thorfinn engage in a fight when Askeladd's only friend, a dying Bjorn, asks him to kill him as he wants to enter Valhalla as a warrior. Askeladd fulfills his dream and takes his rage out on Thorfinn. He then tells him the story of his childhood and how he always wanted to visit the imaginary grass-covered shore called Vinland just like Thorfinn. Thorfinn starts to understand his viewpoint as Askeladd wants to create a world where the violence generated by the Vikings is nothing but stories, and thus he wants to kill as many Viking leaders as possible irrespective of their standpoint. The most anticipated encounter between the more experienced Prince Canute and his father King Swen I is one of the best set pieces of the series. King Swen is aware that his son has matured and is now vying for the throne. The battle of strategies then begins, but suddenly the sly King Swen realizes that Askeladd's affection for his country is the greatest weakness for Canute's army. King Swen abruptly orders the prince to start an invasion of Askeladd's beloved country and announces that Askeladd must now execute Prince Canute in order to prevent the Danish troops from starting an invasion of Wales. Askeladd rapidly resolves this challenging situation as he is unable to select any of the following options. So he goes on to behead the Mad King who was standing right in front of him so that Prince Canute can personally execute him and no one would suffer as a result of the king's decision. Everyone is shocked by this choice but Thorfinn is especially shocked because he arrives late as he wasn't permitted to attend the meeting. Thorfinn asks a dying Askeladd to hold on since he curiously does not feel happy. However, Askeladd stops breathing shortly after, which removes Thorfinn's lifetime goal and ambition from his life. Thorfinn becomes enraged and attempts to kill the prince but the prince's army rapidly overwhelms and outnumbers him. They easily manage to drag a furious Thorfinn outside the meeting tent and the first season of the Vilnan saga comes to an end. According to the sequel's summary, Thorfinn will be a slave who works on a reclamation area alongside a new character named Einar and starts to recognize the sins he had committed before. So we are pretty sure that the plot will heavily emphasize the atonement and salvation of our MC. And we'll pick up from the manga chapter 56 where the last season has left from. Theorizing and discussing anything more than that will function as a direct spoiler to the anime only watchers so I will consciously avoid that. The series has been through a lot as Wix Studio had to sell the animation rights to MAPPA and after a long hiatus finally the second season has started streaming. The trailer for the second season promises us an even deeper personal narrative of Thorfinn now that his arch nemesis Askeladd is dead. His purpose as a viking warrior still remains abstract but soon we will find out more about it. We hope that he still has the drive to prove his worth in front of his ancestor and to his father. We know we have been a bit late in sharing the video about this anime, but we will make sure that you get regular updates and episode details from now on without fail. The series is a great watch and we strongly suggest you watch the anime or read the manga. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your expectations regarding season 2 of Vinland Saga or who is your favorite character from the anime. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one and for the time being we are signing off. Jane, everyone is a slave to something and I'll be back.